Hi everybody, it's Miss Saturine back again for writing. Um, today we're going to work on introductions and I want to show you one of the, my favorite movies and how it starts because I think this is going to come in handy today when we write our own introductions for our information books. So take a look. Doesn't that make you want to see the rest of this movie? So cool. So today, what we're working on is actually the beginnings of our information book. Just like the beginning of a movie is something that really grabs your attention, the beginning of a book should do that too. Okay? So, our goal today is let's take a look at our objective. I can write an interesting introduction that highlights important information about my topic. And we're going to take a look at some ways we can do this. Um, the ways we can do this, we have a few ways. Um, first, we can do this by asking questions about my topic. We can also do this by adding details to help the reader imagine the setting. And we can do this by listing reasons a reader might be interested in my topic and then tell the purpose of my book. So let's focus on this first bullet right now. The way we can write an interesting introduction, the first way is a good way to ask questions about your topic. And I'm gonna show you a book that does do this and how it makes a really good introduction, okay? Because you know the introduction is what starts off our book. It's the lead is another word for it. So first we can ask questions about our topic. So I took a look at this book here. Um, it's an information book, it's about wolves. And this is the question that it asks. It asks, what's that sound? Ah, There's a lonely howl in the distance. Then more voices join in. The chorus of howls sends a shiver down your spine. What's making this, this spooky sound? Wolves. So this book kind of combines these first two things. It asks questions about my topic, okay, it asks, what's that sound? We know that because there's a question mark. And it ask, asks, what's making this spooky sound, okay? So it asks questions. That's really interesting. It makes me want to read this book because I want to find out what that sound is. The second thing that it does is it adds details to help the reader imagine the setting, okay? The setting is the where the story takes place, what's going on around you. So this book does that here. It says there's a lonely howl in the distance. It's helping me picture what's going on outside. Then more voices join in. Oh, I'm imagining the sounds of more owls coming in. The chorus of howls sends a shiver down my spine. So it's making me seem like, whoa, this, these animals, they could be dangerous. I sh could be scared of them, okay? So that's number two, is adding those details to help you imagine where you are or what's going on. But it still has to do with wolves, which is the topic, okay? Um, and the last um, thing that we want to, um, another way to start our book off, the lead, 
is we can list reasons a reader might be interested in my topic and then tell the purpose of my book. Okay, the purpose meaning why did you write this book? Who's it for? Okay, so I have this book about babysitting here. Um, and it kind of does the same thing. So it asks questions, which is also, we know, a good way to start a lead or an introduction. Do you love children? Are you patient and responsible? Have you ever thought about becoming a babysitter? Okay, so there's the questions. It does do that first bullet. And then it goes on to say this. It says, as most babysitters will tell you, the job isn't easy, but it does have lots of rewards. Seeing a child's face light up when you walk into a room makes you feel great. Babysitting is a fun way to earn money after school and on weekends. You might not have experience with babysitting and aren't quite sure what to expect. Parents expect babysitters to be in charge while they're gone. This book will help, will get you on the road to success. Okay, so it tells you what this book is for and why you should read it. It says, this book will help you get on the road to success, okay, when it comes to babysitting. So it kind of lists reasons why you might be interested through the questions that it asks. Okay, it says, do you love children? Yeah, someone who loves children is going to want to read this book. If they're patient and responsible, they're going to want to read it, okay? So it, it gets you interested by listing things that you might be interested about, and then it tells you what the book's going to be about. It says, if you want to be a successful babysitter, you should read this book, okay? So three ways we can write an interesting introduction or lead today. We can ask questions about the topic, okay, just like we did in Wolves and in Babysitting. We can add details to help the reader imagine the setting, like we did here in Wolves. We imagined what the wolves would sound like and what we might hear and how we might feel. Or we can list reasons a reader might be interested and then tell the purpose of the book or tell why you're reading that book like we did here in Babysitters. Um, so we listed some reasons you might like this book, if you love children, if you're patient. And then we said what we're gonna teach you in this book. This book will get you on the road to success down here, okay? So I'm gonna show you what I worked on and what strategy I used when I wrote my introduction today. I actually picked um, I combined, kind of combined a few of these. I did ask questions about my topic and I listed reasons that a reader might be interested in my topic. And I'm going to show you where and how I did that. Okay. So today, remember, a lead is, or an introduction should go in the beginning of your story. And I know some of you wrote the beginning of your story, like I just started off right here. Um, so that's okay. Um, if you have some paper where you left off, you can just start your lead here. Now what I'm going to do, since I finished my lead actually, is I'm going to rip it out. And then I'm going to tape it into the beginning of my story because leads or introductions belong in the beginning of your story, okay? So this is my introduction. I will read it to you, but I'm going to stick it in the front of my story right here. Okay, so it should go here. I'm gonna just put a piece of tape. And then it'll go here and then it won't fall out. Or if you have a paper clip, that's fine, a stapler, whatever. So this is how I wrote my lead. Remember, I asked questions and I listed reasons um, and then ended by telling you what this book is going to be about. So it goes like this. This is what I came up with so far. Do you ever find that when you come home, there are crumbs all over the floor? There's my question. Are all your tabletops full of dirt and crumbs? Another question. Is your house just a big mess? Another question. Well, you came to the right book. In this book, you will learn all about cleaning. That's me telling you what my book's going to be about and why you should read it. First, I will teach you about the right cleaning supplies to use in your home. Next, I'll teach you how to vacuum up all those pesky crumbs. Last, I'll teach you how to mop up a nasty spill so that your house is in tip-top shape. Once you finish this book, I guarantee you'll be a cleaning expert. Your house will shine. Okay. So 
Remember, let's go back to the strategies we talked about today because I did use a few of them. Because remember, we're writing information books. We're still using the same book we've been talking about. I've been talking about cleaning. Remember, I asked questions about my topic. I asked, do you ever find that when you come home there are crumbs all over the floor? Are all your tabletops full of crumbs? Is your house just a big mess? And then I also listed some reasons you might be interested. I said, well, if you are finding these things, my questions kind of serve as that list, then you came to the right book. And I said, in this book, you'll learn all about cleaning. That's the purpose of the book. That's why I wrote it, to teach you all about cleaning, okay? And then I told you kind of what's going, what you're going to see when you read this book, okay? So remember today, your goal, I can write an interesting introduction that highlights important information about my topic. I can do this by asking questions about my topic, adding details to help the reader imagine the setting, or listing reasons a reader might be interested in my topic and then tell the purpose of my book, okay? So you have three options. Remember today, focus on a lead, an introduction. You're starting your book off, okay? Make it really interesting. Can't wait to read it.